What's up, y'all? Um, hold on. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. Um, but look, check this out. Turn that blower off. Look. You see the water. And then you hear Macy. Ugh. <laughs> um. But yeah, I'm not doing anything, guys. I just wanted to um, come up in here and show y'all that. Because I am uh, I got to bring peace back into my house. And get back centered. Get back centered with God. Because I stepped out of line a lot. So, I got to fix that. So we starting with prayer. We starting with having good thoughts. I never, I never stop praying. Thank you, Father. I'm so glad I never stopped praying. Um. So yeah. Um. Uh, that's the that's the journey that I'm on right now. Um. So I moved that over here Let's see can you see I moved that over there I still got to do something with the perfume because you know I don't like that looking like that um I'm washing the um I'm washing my rugs right now, so I got to go through and sweep. I got to take that one up right there, but I got to move that first. But, yeah, I just wanted to come in here and talk to y'all. For a minute. Show you the closet. <laughs> you going to think... Gino, what the heck are you doing? Okay. So, you see that? All right. And then you see this side is empty. That, to me, is symbolic, right? Of what I'm going through. This closet or anybody that, that's going through a heartbreak. This side right here is full, right? This side is empty. Because somebody not getting fed in that relationship. Somebody is getting fed too much and a relationship shouldn't look like that it's two people in a relationship so if it's two people in the relationship shouldn't it be almost equal I'm just saying. This. And I know I'm all over the place, y'all. I know it. I know it. But I got to go through this. And I got to purge those feelings out. I got to purge the energy out. You know what I mean? Um, and I've been. I, I know this. Because I've been down this road before. That's why I've been single for so many years. Because the type of person that I am, I'm going to give it all to you. 
like my whole when when I come in the door, when you say we're gonna be in a relationship, it's just gonna be you and I. Right? I'm I'm gonna give you that. Like there is no one else. <sighs> <sighs> I'm going to talk to y'all in a little while. But keep that in mind. Empty. Four. And I got this message. Because I, when I was in here straightening it up. Remember that video I told you guys? I said I need to tackle the um, closet. And as I was cleaning the closet, I was like, why oh, are you doing that? And then I said, it's not for you to know. Just do it. So I did it. And that's what God was, that's what he's showing me. I was given too much. And now uh, I'm left empty. Love you guys. Mwah. What's up you guys? Um, so I just got in from work. <sighs> when I tell y'all I have the best babysitter ever, that's an exaggeration. Let me just say that. I have to be to work pretty early in the morning, right? She comes here and gets my oldest grandson, AJ, gets him on the bus, okay? Gets him on the bus, keeps Jamari until I get home. When I get home, fancy beauties and balls. She has cooked. The house is clean. Today, the boys are napping right now. And I came in. I got to take me a shower because I love taking a shower after I get home from work just to get work off of me. You know, plus with the Rona going around, I don't want, uh-uh. So it felt so good to be able to just come in and do that. And now I am in my pew office. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to edit this video. Um, not this one that I'm doing right now, but one that I have in, in the editor. So I'm getting ready to do that right now. And I may, low-key, I may take me a nappy poo. You know what I'm saying? Just take advantage of this. But I need to clean stuff too. So I might just, just lay down for a little bit. And then get up. Because I'm going to have to be ready to deal with them when they wake up. But yeah, y'all. I just wanted to tell y'all 
God is He's showing favor. That's exactly what he's doing. He's showing favor again. Because I had to ask for forgiveness. You know what I mean? I lost focus. And uh, that was not that was not a good look at all. So I totally feel so at peace right now. I feel like everything. You know how when... You go through a, a, a snowfall, and you see the the snow just falling, 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 falling. That's how I felt when I knew I was doing wrong against God. Everything started going away from me. So I asked for forgiveness. And it's like he's taking all that snow that fell and he putting it right back together again. <sighs> so I was going to sit down and, and, and do a video for you guys about, you know, finding love in the pandemic and then losing it. Um, <laughs> in the same year, but I feel like he's telling me don't do that. So I'm gonna listen to that, and I'm gonna keep those details to what happened to myself, so God can work things out the way God wants to work things out. What, whatever that might be. Mm hmm Whatever that might be. So, um, let me get off of here so I can finish editing this video and get it up for you guys. And then I will see you probably in a whole new video. How about that? Alright. Love y'all. I'm going to stay loving you. Stay loving me. Bye bye, guys. Later that same evening. You got it all? Yeah. Now he went and got a wipe, y'all. He using this. And he went and cleaned off the table itself. You got him. I don't know what's taking so long. Okay, there you go. You got it? Yeah, you want more for that too? Yeah. Okay. No, you don't need no more. You can use that one. Can you get it all? Oh. Ow. Be careful. What happened? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Don't pick it. You just got to keep rubbing it. Did it come up? Rub it some more.
Got it. Huh? It won't come up? Oh, he wiping that table like a grown man. He'll be three years old January 15th. Two days after my birthday. Look at him. There's two? You got two of them. Yeah. Is that working better? Oh, oh. Mm. Okay, well, let me come help you. Hold on. Okay, guys, so look what I found at Home Goods. And it is uh, metal. That, that piece is metal. I think that was 60 bucks. Uh, then I told you guys I had found this, and then I found this rug, um, throw rug, uh, when I found that mirror. So let me show you from this way. It looks really good, really, really good. And then I found the storage bins. And I found these at TJ Maxx. I think they was $12.99 a piece, but perfect, perfect fit, right? So um, I ended up Filling this back up with cereal. The bananas are there. Like I said, this is a whole hot mess right here. So don't worry about it. You want to see more hot mess? Um, This is what the freezer looks like. I reorganized everything in here. And now... It looks a whole lot better. Yes.
<sighs> so yeah guys um thank you so much for um watching the videos you know sharing your stories of what your family members are going through um similar to myself um I don't know guys it's just I'm in a strange um, place right now like I'm not depressed because I know God has really been blessing me in so many different ways and I know I don't even deserve it um, but I do have moments where I'm sad and that I know that that's coming from my heart being hurt um, and uh, you know you gotta go through that that um, phase of the heartbreak and the breakup and stuff like that you know so I did pray that um, I don't grow um, cold hearted um, cause I've been there before and it was not a good place. It was not a good place to be. Um, and I wasn't cold-hearted to me, and I was cold-hearted to myself. You know, I felt like I didn't deserve love, and that I would never feel or know what true love is um, because of the mistakes that I made. You know, being a young mother, unwed, you know, that whole, that whole thing. I just... You know, my decisions caused me to lose out on, um, you know, Olympic dreams and things like that. But, you know, I'm still grateful for my life that I have. I just, I'm missing that one component, that one, that one, that big dream, you know that I feel like I deserve. I deserve to be my king's wife. And I know God is going to work everything out in the way that it should go. Um, and I guess I just have to be patient and I told y'all a long time ago that that was my biggest my biggest weakness is patience. I I don't I don't have patience, you know. <sighs> anyway, y'all, let me get off of here. Um, like I said, I'm not I'm not depressed. I'm just going through um the stages of heartbreak. This is the heartbreak. Oh. Tell this is heartbreak hotel. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Make sure you stay taking care of each other. Love each other. If you have a spouse or a significant other and you really, really do love them, tell them so. You know, don't take that for granted. All right, y'all. Stay loving on me, and I'm going to stay loving on you.